Here we have a grouped frequency distribution for which we have estimated a mean by completing the table and using the formula. We can use the TI calculator to help expedite some of the calculations. I've typed the frequencies in list 1 and the midpoints in list 2. The next job is to multiply the corresponding entries in those lists. So we'll go up and highlight list 3 and then punch second L1 times second L2 and hit enter. Now the entries in list 3 are the products of the corresponding entries in lists 1 and 2. Now what we need are the sums for the values in list 1 so that we have the sum of the frequencies or the size of the data set and then the sums of the values in list 3. So we'll go to stat over to calc 1 for one variable statistics and then calculate for list 1. And then we find that the sum is 40, just as we found when we added the values manually. Now we want to do the same thing for list 3. So we'll go to stat, over to calc, one variable statistics, and now we want to find the sum for the values in list 3. So we'll hit second list 3, enter a couple of times, and we find that that sum is 685, just as we found when we added manually. Then when we do that calculation, 685 divided by 40, we wind up with the 17.125 number, which we know we're going to round to 